we shall be learning about areas in MVC. and how they can be used to implement role-based security. Suppose this circle represents a normal MVC website. A normal website can be thought of as having just one area. This area is technically called main area. How about partitioning it into another area? Consisting of pages only relevant to the sales department. and into marketing area. And an administrator's area. The login form in the main area can be used to direct users. To their respective home pages. This scheme can be easily implemented in MVC using the concept of areas. Before moving further let's try to understand the benefits. First is a better readability of the website structure. Bigger projects can be easily maintained and managed. We'll now have a look at how to create an area with Visual Studio. As I told you earlier this whole thing is one area. It has its own set of controllers, actions and views. It's always there. To add a custom area. Right click here. And select Add Area. Give it a name. A new folder called Areas gets added. The red boundary. There is another subfolder called ADM and inside it. The blue boundary. ADM men area inside here.
More Arias will get added here. As subfolders. This file is what you are seeing here on the left. This is the root map for the newly added area. This is the usual URL pattern. Similarly, each area has its own set of controllers. Model Views Thus, an area is a zone in itself has its own page serving system. We can add the controller. Method remains the same. View can be similarly added. Let's examine how areas help us tie a role-based security. Suppose there is a company with a top boss and subordinate teams. Sales, marketing, personnel. And we have an MVC website having areas for sales, marketing, these areas have pages relevant for respective departments. A member of the sales department should access only the pages inside sales area. Likewise for marketing. but the top boss should have all the permissions. When we talk of security, two terms are important, authentication and authorization. Authentication is verification of a user's identity from his fingerprints or from his credentials in a database. Outsiders not allowed. and authorization is whether he has permissions to view or edit a page. For instance, the marketing person be restricted to marketing area.
Authorization rules for a role. Authentication and authorization. Let me now discuss the various steps involved in a typical login process. The user fills a login form with user ID and password. Her credentials are checked against a database. If she fails, she is denied an entry. If she is authenticated, a form's authentication ticket is created. This object stores the user ID and list of roles or permissions associated with the user. Finally this ticket is stored in a cookie so that it can be easily read when verification is to be done. Secured action methods are marked with a roles annotation. Roles are specified as a comma separated list of permissions. Just before such an action is called, a function called unauthorization of authorization attribute class is executed. Such classes are also called filters. Here the form's authorization ticket is read from the cookie. The list of roles in that ticket is compared against the roles list on the action.
user property is available from the controller. It is an object of it principle that can be used to query the user's status. Identity property on user is an object of identity that allows us to read user name. Various types of authentication methods available. First is form authentication where a user is shown the login form. A web administrator configures it through a web config file. The second is Windows authentication that is based on Windows OS user accounts. It is generally used in intranet websites. Another option is to use OAuth protocol with Google, Facebook, Twitter, Apis. For this the user must have an account with Google, Facebook, whatever. When form authentication is configured in a web config file certain parameters must be specified. The path to the login form. The name of the cookie that will store the ticket. It is specified in minutes.